Hello everyone and welcome to a new video, MC Mora here and in today's video we are again gonna discuss 5 attacks and how we can punish them we are gonna start with Rashid and his V trigger 2 special Haboob Haboob is his horizontal fireball, he gets this only in V trigger 2 and it is this attack as you will see it right now of course he can cancel it into the V skill 1 roll and when he does he will be plus on block from far range like you are seeing it is pretty much a get in tool right many Rashid players love to use this attack because it's really really good there is also a commonly known strategy that he can cancel into light punch mixer if you try to jump it so if I jump forward he can then do light punch mixer as you can see this is gonna be neutral on block and look at how much how much he pushed us to the corner pretty much like we are now almost to the other corner we are at neutral Rashid have his three frame so it does seem ridiculous right it does seem awesome and it is really really good but there are two ways that we can deal with this the first one is if we are close enough if we are from half screen range I'm gonna say right around here about the half screen range distance Rashid is actually negative on this throw so when Rashid does this, you can actually just mash your 3 frame and you are gonna punish him or you're gonna get a counter hit on him. So this is the first thing. If you're close enough, you can just press your 3 frame about half screen range, you are the one who are plus, not Rashid. If Rashid is doing it from a really far range, about 3 quarters of the screen away or 2 thirds, like from somewhere like here, you can just throw him out of it. So if he's doing it from really far, you can just throw him and you want to position yourself to be in either one of these two states so if he's doing it from this distance i can back dash here so then i will be ready to throw him or i will move forward so then i will be plus enough to get a punish on him And we are switching gears to everyone's favorite, M. Bison, and the attack I'm gonna talk about is his EX Blast. This attack is very interesting, in all honesty, and it is pretty good. One common strategy you will see a lot is Bison players running full screen and then using the EX Blast as a getting tool, right? This is a two hitting fireballs, so if I throw one fireball at it, I have to throw two fireballs to dissipate it. Or an EX1, an EX1 will clash with it and, you know, it will disappear at this point. But there is a very interesting property to the EX Plus, actually. It have two hits of projectile durability, right? But check this out. Actually, Gil's EX Armor attack was able to go through it. And why is that? Well, it's because the EX Blast have two hits of projectile invincibility or two hits of projectile durability, but it actually only hits once. So, for example, if we even got hit by it, it is one hit only. It is not two hits. It's just like G's V skill in V trigger. So, when Bison does the EX Blast, you can actually just armor through it. And even if it's done from a closer range, but let's say somewhere like here. You can even get a punish on M Bison. Of course, attacks that go through fireballs will be able to punish it, but armor attacks will also be able to get a punish here. Of course, it's gonna depend on how fast your attack is, but just let the Bison player know that you have an option in this scenario. Moving on now to Vega, the attack I'm gonna discuss about Vega is his new V skill. It's a really really good V skill. This V skill is invincible to strikes from frame 1. So it means that he can basically use it on wake up to escape from Meaty. He can use it, you know, mid pressure. So for example, if I do a Meaty attack like this one, uppercut, dash up to a medium, he can simply escape out of this because it is fully invincible as long as he is, you know, rolling back. It is strike invincible and that is the first key point here. So if we did the same thing but we try to throw him, we will be able to throw him out of it. So this is the main weakness of this V skill is that he is throwable. Yes, you can't actually kinda meet him here, but at least he is throwable so you can absolutely throw him on wake up out of it, right? 
the other thing is if Vega commits to the kick follow up, so of course out of this Vega can do the kick follow up. The kick follow up itself is minus six. So if you happen to block this, it is pretty fast. The range is pretty far, but you will be able to get a punish on him. So if you block the follow up, it is minus six. You can punish him on block, and if he does it on a meaty, you can absolutely throw him out of it. And now we are gonna talk about Falk, and the attack I'm gonna talk about today is her forward heavy punch. You can think of her forward heavy punch as her fireball tool. It's basically her book, her main book, and it's a move that is used to occupy space. So it hits about half screen range, it is minus 10 on block, so it is pretty punishable, although the punishment will depend on your character. For example, a character like Cody, he will have to punish this with super, but it's, it's largely gonna be different from a character to character. Like everyone's gonna have a different punish. It is minus 10 on block though, but the hurt box doesn't linger that much. It's not like Vega's forward heavy bunch. You can jab it while it is pulling back. So, but we said that this is kinda like her fireball. So there are many ways that you can deal with this. The first one is of course, it is very prone to jumpings. As you just seen, this have a lot of startup it have a lot of recovery so because of this it is actually very prone to jumping don't be afraid to jump on Falk because from the half screen range she's kinda have to do this because again this is her main fireball per se it is her main zoning tool otherwise all of her other fireballs don't occupy the same range or control space as well as this forward heavy punch does so this is the first thing the second thing is because she is using the staff the staff is actually punishable. You can hit the staff as it's extended. So for example, if you look at this, I am hitting the staff itself. This means that you can wave punish it. So if I'm like a little bit further than half screen range, I can absolutely wave punish this. So you can think of it as a fireball that is also wave punishable. It is a pretty good attack all around because it is a crush counter. It's pretty annoying. But there are many ways to deal with this, either with jumps or by wave punishing it. And now, finally, we are gonna talk about Birdie and we are gonna discuss his V Trigger 2. Birdie's V Trigger 2 is a really good V Trigger, but its issue is mostly the activation. Birdie have very hard time activating this V Trigger on block, and this is a weakness that you have to abuse. So if Birdie tries to activate from block, let's say from a headbutt, as you can see that was minus 19. So at minus 19 he gets full combo punished. If he does try the same thing but from a bullhorn, he is minus 23, so he get combo punished. The best one is out of the AX headbutt. It is still unsafe, but there is a lot of pushback. So as you can see this was minus 8. So at minus 8 it is still unsafe, but as you can see here, there's a little bit of pushback. So this is the hardest one to punish. You're gonna have to look up your character and how they can punish this. I will say it is pretty important for your uh, success in the matchup. But for example, for example, with someone like Alex, you might be able to get something like this and get a punish on him. It's what I found in like 3 minutes of looking Alex, right? If he tried to do it out of the EX Bullhorn, which is the armored attack of course, again minus 27, so he is full combo punishable. So regardless of the activation on block, Birdie is always full combo punishable, almost always. The best one is the EX Headbutt, again at minus 8, still really unsafe, but there is a little bit of pushback, so you're gonna have to lap this one out. And that is pretty much it for today's video. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. It helps the channel so much. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.